hello everyone so we will continue over the spark tutorial and in this particular video we are going to learn about the DAG and the lazy evaluation okay and this is one of the most important interview question also generally they ask about the DAG and the lazy evaluation so let us try to understand so let us start with the DAG DAG means direct as I click graph okay what is DAG DAG means direct as I click graph okay so let us try to understand with the example suppose I have one of the requirement what is my requirement is like my file is available in HDFS location okay HDFS location so what I have to do first I have to read that file and that is a employee employee file okay now my second requirement is like I have to filter a data filter data attendance is attendance is greater than 70 percent okay okay this is the second thing I have to do and third thing is like I have to count that I have to count the number of the employee whose attendance is greater than 70 percent so this is the requirement I have so in a spark what I will do I will write a code okay what I will do I will write a code how actually we can write a code first I will try to create a RDD first I will try to read the file how actually we can read the file sc.txt file and with that particular location I will pass okay we will do a practical and we will try to understand more about the coding but as of now just try to understand okay so what I will do first I will create RDD I will try to load the file okay I will create another RDD and what I will do I will create a filter okay and in filter I will pass greater than 70 as of now I am just writing a pseudocode okay and third requirement is like I have to count it I have to count it okay so this is the what I will do right okay now in the spark right in a spark whatever the code we write right generally the two types of the operation happens okay so let us try to understand that first then we will come to this part okay so two types of operation two operation generally you have to remember okay first is the transformation transformation and second is the action second is the action okay generally in a spark two types of operation will happen one is the transformation second is the action when you will perform a transformation execution will not happen when you will perform an action then only the execution will happen okay for taking example what are the action action is like you have to find out the max count right so this this all is nothing but this kind of the action okay transformation is nothing but suppose you have to do map filter uh, okay flat map okay this all we will learn later but as of now let us try to understand this okay so what actually will happen in in the case of the transformation okay if the execution is not happening then what is happening okay for taking example we'll come to this part okay here if you will see what is our first step first step is nothing but a sc.txt file and we are loading the data okay so first step is nothing but a, it is a transformation okay first step is nothing but a, it is a transformation okay now we are saying like in the case of the transformation nothing will happen okay what is the second step second step is also we are filtering filtering is also one of the transformation okay so in this case also what will happen nothing will happen what is the third action count right this is a action okay in the action only the all the execution will happen now one thing comes into the mind is the execution plan means I have to first load the file then only I have to do a filter and in real case we, we will be having a multiple transformation right how the execution will happen one by one in order how the spark will know okay so in the case of the transformation right what generally happen it will try to create one graph okay in this particular graph it will first say like first is the what is the first operation first operation is the RDD right where we are loading the file okay loading the file what is the second operation second operation is RDD one we are filtering a data means it will try to create a one by one a, a, one kind of the graph okay through that graph only we will be able to know how actually the execution will happen okay and this graph is nothing but a DAG what we call it as a direct acyclic graph this is the one graph through which actually we will we'll know like how the execution will happen so that's why we call it as a DAG direct acyclic graph okay now what is a lazy evaluation lazy evaluation is nothing but a until and unless you will call action execution will not happen so that is why spark we call it as a lazy evaluation okay I hope you got it DAG is nothing but a direct acyclic graph so okay so whenever you will be having any kind of the transformation the execution will not happen but it will try to create one kind of the graph and on that graph only all the execution plan will be mentioned order wise okay so that we call it as a DAG I hope